What's going on my fellow elegant savages? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about core and discussing how to properly do a L sit. Stay tuned. So now for those of you all who are new to calisthenics, a lot of you all are probably wondering what does the L sit actually work on? Now, I already mentioned that it works on your core, specifically your lower abs is mostly what it targets. But like most calisthenic movements, it's a compound movement. So it also works your triceps, your forearms, and also your grip strength if you're doing on a set of bars or dip bars. Now, as you all saw in the intro, I actually did the L sit in three different versions. So I did one on the equalizer bars behind me, I did the second one on the parallettes, and then the third one on the ground. Today, we're going to be discussing how to do an L sit on the ground, and the reason why is you actually get the most pound for pound strength gains from doing it on the floor. So, the first thing we always want to discuss is how to do it with the proper form. So, when you're getting down on the ground, the first thing you want to do is extend your legs in front of you as far as you can and then you want to put your hands a little bit in front of your hips so you don't want it to be completely lined up with your hips you want it to be slightly probably about like a half inch in front of your hips and then as you begin to push up you want to push your chest out so you want to have big chest superman chest you want to push your chest out and depress your shoulder blades i know i say this a lot when we're doing push exercises but you actually want to depress your shoulder blades now when you do that and you begin to lift up you're gonna really, really squeeze your core and really squeeze your triceps. And what you're going to do is lean back into your triceps and have your legs lift off the ground. So you all, in a nutshell, that is how you do the l -sit. It's a very quick, simple video, but I'm sure that the very next question is, okay, I'm glad you showed me the correct form on how to do it, but what are some exercises that I can actually do to get better at doing the l -sit? And I'm glad you asked me because the Elegant Savage is here to provide. So because I want my fellow Elegant Savages to be equipped with all the knowledge and information they need to go out and train like a savage, I'm actually going to provide you all with a few exercises, not just for how to increase your L-sit on the ground, but also how to increase your L-sit on the dip bars. So the first thing we're going to do is actually get back on the ground and we're going to get into the L-sit position that I just taught you all. So remember, big chest, Superman chest, hands slightly in front of your hips. And what you're going to do is raise up off the ground, raise your butt off the ground, and you're going to lift one of your legs up. You're going to count one, two, squeeze your core, four, five, and then you're going to hold it up, five, four, three, two, one. Don't relax. We're going to switch legs. Five four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. One of the best ways to, to train and actually get a move is to train through the movement. I found that to be true and also by doing negatives. So this exercise actually incorporates both by doing the negative here, by bringing it down slow and you train through the movement by actually getting in some reps. All right, y'all, and the second exercise is actually doing a tuck L-sit, and this is exactly how it sounds. So instead of actually doing an L-sit with your legs straight out, when you lift your body off the ground, you're going to bring your legs back to you. So in essence, it'll look like this. So when it comes to doing it on dip bars, I actually have three essential exercises that you all can be doing to get your L-sit. So the first one is knee raises. And when you're doing knee raises, you want to actually be in the exact same position. You want to push your chest out. You don't want to cave in. You want to push your chest out, big chest, lean back on your triceps, tighten that core, raise your knees up. The second thing you want to do is actually leg raises. And so you'll extend your legs out in front of you. And you'll just raise your legs. And lastly, a good thing about being able to do it on an elevated surface like the dip bars is you can actually go into an L sit and you can alternate having one leg in a tuck and the other leg straight. So let me show y'all an example. One leg out, another leg tuck. One leg out, another one tuck. And you can just alternate. So you all, in terms of reps and sets that you can be doing for the exercises I just listed, as far as the exercises on the ground, you want to do about three sets between the leg raises and the negatives and then the tuck L sit. And then when you get up on the dip bars, you want to do upwards of 12 reps when it comes to the knee raises and leg raises. And then as far as having one leg out and the other leg tuck, you just want to max that out and do it as long as you can. And you can really do um, all five exercises 
in a circuit and just do it for three sets. All right, my fellow elegant savages, if you follow the tips and tricks I showed you all today, you should be able to get your first L sit in about two to three months. Make sure that if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Subscribe because there's a lot more calisthenic tutorials on the way. And if you want to truly know what it means to be an elegant savage and how you can become one, make sure you check out elegantsavagery.com. I'll see you all in the next one.